Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for insights and tips into the psychological side of equestrian sport. One of the most common topics I get asked to speak about and one of the most common issues I get asked for help with are nerves or anxiety. A lot of times when we think about nerves or anxiety, we're looking for an antidote and we think about relaxation. People often say that they would like to feel relaxed rather than be anxious or nervous when they're preparing for or they're riding in competition. The problem with that notion is that to effectively ride in competition requires a fairly high level of activation both mentally and physically and that if we were truly relaxed we wouldn't be able to function certainly not effectively in the, in the middle of competition so does that mean that relaxation then has no role for helping us with nerves and anxiety what I'd like you to do is to think about st your stress response to anxiety as a bucket and whenever something stressful happens to you that bucket gets filled up a little bit and then the next thing happens and it gets filled up a little bit more and so on until that bucket overflows if you use that concept then is if we start anxious the night before and we continue to experience anxiety what happens over time is we actually become less and less resilient the neat thing about relaxation, and what I mean by that is true and complete relaxation, is it is one way that we can empty that bucket and it provides a reset. So that each time we empty the bucket, we then have access to our full resourcefulness, our full uh, resilience, and we start at a place where we can actually tolerate more that's coming at us. In that way, it's really most appropriate for times where we're not actively competing. It's the kind of resource that we can use the night before competition, the morning of competition, the quiet time before we're, we're actually getting on to warm up or enter the ring, or those quiet times in between rounds or in, in between tests or in between um, performances. And it's an effective strategy during all those different times. One of the really cool things about it as well is that there are some side benefits to it. The idea of purposefully and actively re relaxing yourself makes a stronger connection between our mind and our body. It helps us to increase the awareness of our body. It helps us to increase the awareness of our thoughts and also to open those pathways in which our physiology can affect our thinking and our thinking affects our physiology which then becomes tools for other things later on so if you'd like to learn more about relaxation I would recommend that you Google progressive relaxation techniques there are hundreds if not thousands of free progressive relaxation scripts online that you can use to uh, help teach yourself how to truly completely relax and then you will have that in your toolbox in order to help build resilience in the face of competition. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute and we'll see you next week.